Ladies and gentlemen, we are here in BC, Canada, fishing one of the most beautiful trout streams I've ever seen, going after some cutthroat. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, it's, it's a small little creek or stream. We can wade all over, hopefully dry fly fishing for cutthroats. Oh man, I can't wait. Yeah, you bet. Stick around, I think this will be an awesome show. I was casting a dry fly into a deep pool. Yeah, that's a good fish too. Oh shoot, lost it. Darn it. Oh, that's a, oh, that's that a big a, fish. That was a bigger one. I gotta be a little more patient on that guy. That's a bigger fish, Steve. That's a bigger fish. It's a nice crystal mountain clear pool. Shoot! Golly, darn it. It's a big fish. Bummer. And I lost it, I don't know why. Bummer. Oh, he came up, oh, there he got it. I know it's not your fault. It's I just, know. oh God, check the hook on that thing or something. Yeah. Man. How many of those did you get a hook into? <laughs> Three at least. Okay. Maybe four. Shoot. And I could have put them all down, you know? Yeah. Every single one that was in here. Maybe we'll try nymphing it real fast. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beauty. Gosh darn it. That was another 16, 18 inch fish. Why? <laughs> Finally got one hooked, and it has to be the smallest one <laughs> out of there. Yep. I've hooked. And you know what? Not only that, it's a dang white fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh man, I hope things change around today. Yep. <clears throat> well, I gotta say, this is probably the most frustrating situation I've ever experienced fly fishing. The most beautiful hole imaginable. 16 to 18 inch fish rising to my dry fly hooking them, losing them, and then finally, of course, get the six inch whitefish. Not pleased. Not pleased <laughs> at all. Gorgeous <laughs> river. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Head for the next hole? Yeah, I think so. I don't know where it's gonna be. Maybe up by those cliffs up yeah, there. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, oh. shoot. Come on, be there. I could get a little closer. Yeah. Without hitting that tree. I was attempting to put my fly right up against the log near the far bank. Oh yeah. Yep. You oh yeah. that, boy. Nice. <laughs> there was a cut right by that log. Steve, Steve predicted it. I thought, oh, come on, man. Wow, it's a good, it's a decent fish too. Yeah, yeah, it looked good sized. Still haven't got a great glimpse of it. Trying to get as much line as I can so I don't stumble all over it. Oh boy. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh. oh boy, boy that's a nice trout. Oh it's a beauty. Wow, right out of that little teeny log. Yeah. In there. Awesome. <laughs> it's a gorgeous fish. It it's is. close to 16 inches that's out awesome. of that little tiny awesome. spot. 
totally awesome. I got to tell you, I got to give Steve credit because he's saying, well, I'll try it over there. And I'm going, come on, man. And there it was. Gorgeous. What? How beautiful oh cut that was. That's awesome. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, Again, was. just over that little log over there, I tried to make several casts. I finally got one that was just right over it. And to my surprise, big old fish came up and hit it. <laughs> that makes up for a lot of issues that it had today. <laughs> Lots of issues. Oh, yeah, that was sweet. That really was sweet. awesome. That was one of the most fun takes I've had yeah. in a long time. Very Incredible. cool. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad. Because we're having fun catching fish. <laughs>